Hello there and welcome. Today I'm going to be reviewing the LEGO Mtron Megacore Magnetizer set from 1990. It contained three minifigures and just over 500 parts. Now, as you can see, it mainly consists of this massive, massive truck. Very iconic build, very iconic model from the early 90s Mtron range. Lots and lots of magnets, as most of the Mtron sets do, it contains well over five magnets, um, most notably on this massive crane here, which as you can see it has a small wheel to move the crane in, and move the crane out, and you can spin it around. As you can see, the set has two of these crates, which can of course be picked up by the magnet and moved around. Both of these crates have a magnet on the top here, and the crates open up. This one is empty with a couple of little console panels here. These prints are great, both identical on this one and same prints on the other one. This one's a little more interesting. It contains a couple of these um, packs with hoses on them and also a large hose on the other side here as well. These crates, they're quite nice. And also included in the back here is a small crate that just contains a few little power crystals in here, just two of them. Also, the steering feature is really interesting. Um, you twist this large dish at the top here, and the whole mechanism moves. It's got a couple of these little clip joints. I'm not sure if you can see. If I just try zooming in, you can see there's a couple of these little clip joints in here, and a Technic axle, and as you turn it around, the Technic axle moves. Very nice feature in here, one of the earlier sets. I think this might actually be the only vehicle that they've ever done to have that sort of design for the steering, which, which is really nice. Um, turning around, it's got this huge, huge windscreen here, which is one of those gigantic um, panels used to construct a base. This is the only set to have it in trans neon green. Um, as you can see, this uh, the dish used to steer it flips up and then this can come down. Of course, it's, this is all built on the side with some Technic pieces. It does move a little bit, as you can see, it sort of moves from side to side, which is a little bit annoying, I'm not a big fan of that. But when you angle it correctly, it doesn't really matter if you're, if you're displaying it. Um, but as you can see, it's got this uh, layer, layered uh, seats, so one, uh, so the one at the back is, is higher up than the one at the bottom. Um, so three different seats um, for the three minifigs, a couple of little printed um, tiles just there for the for the minifigs there. In these little bins here, we have these tiny little buggies, nothing particularly exciting about these, very, very straightforward designs on them. Um, but this does actually magnetize onto the crane, which is very nice, and it contains two of them. One on this side and then also on the other side it also contains a buggy there it's very nice and on the back here um, you can open these out and you can flip down this ramp and you can pull out a little spacecraft nothing particularly exciting just a little speeder sort of thing again it's got a magnet so you can attach it onto the crane as well so anything with a magnet usually uh, pops off and attaches onto the crane which is very nice I really like that feature that there's a lot of a lot of magnets allows for some nice playability on the set. Uh, another thing to note is these huge, huge wheels, absolutely massive wheels, which they're actually super overpriced on Bricklink, like just buying the six wheels, that's going to cost you almost as much as what it costs for the whole thing. These are super expensive and they're exclusive to the set in the black. They also, uh, I believe that they released them in orange for the Mars Mission range, but they only released them in two sets in two different colors so these are very hard to come by and they are really nice pieces absolutely massive wheels um, so that's really good to 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 get those wheels okay so here we have the minifigure now there are three in the set but they are all completely identical which is why I'm only showing one of them um, they're just the standard Mtron figure available in all the Mtron sets um, it has this very nice M logo on the torso which I like, just standard white uh, legs with a black uh, hip piece. The arms are white with black hands, gloves. Um, the helmet is black with a trans neon green visor. And it's just a regular smiley face. 
and it's the old style head not the newer or the new head so it's the old style which they they stopped using uh, 1991 I think so that's very nice um, we also have this black uh, oxygen tank which was available in lots and lots of, of space sets from the very early days all the way uh, into the um, the Space Police 3 sets which came out 2009 ish so this is a very nice very nice figure very iconic um, figure available in all the Mtron sets as I said before um, this is a very good figure to have and good for army building which is something that's great about all these old um, old 90 sets is they didn't have a big variety of figures it was only one or two um, variations of figure um, in the in the whole series great for army building so overall I would recommend this set um, there's a lot of really good pieces on it it's a really good design aside from this little um, windscreen issue which does bug me a little bit but as I said you know unless you're unless you're moving it around it's not really a big deal um, but yes there's some great parts the magnets uh, the windscreen again um, the wheels are really cool, although they are hard to find and expensive. Um, and overall, the design is is really nice. It looks really good, and it's got a really good, you know, sort of style and aesthetic. It really fits in with other Mtron sets. The minifigs, although they're basic, it doesn't contain three. I would have liked it if maybe they had four or five. You know, just considering it's such a big set, it's the biggest set in the theme, and so you know, you just feel like it. It should have more more than three figures in it. Um, just my my personal opinion on that but overall it is a great set I would highly recommend it and I'm gonna give this set uh, 9 overpriced wheels out of 10